Greetings, everyone. You know, I thought using an Arduino Nano shrunk my motor control down to a practical size. Then I found the Xiao Sam 21 from Seed Studio. This thing blew me away, so I just had to incorporate it into my motors. The first thing I had to do, of course, was to breadboard it up and figure out the best way to use it. A simple PWM sketch got this thing up and running quite nicely. Step two was to commit to a soldered PCB prototype and see what the signal looks like. That's a beautiful square wave, nice and sharp. So I've been learning PCB design and trying out JLC PCB services. For the professional end results, the reasonable price, and the fast shipping, approximately one week from China, I am now a loyal customer. They have locked in my business. Please grant me a like if you appreciate my efforts. Given the distinctive nature of this circuit, I aspired to craft a unique enclosure to match. It boasts a PWM progress bar and houses an onboard Li Eon battery equipped with USB-C charging. I believe this design not only functions well, but also presents a visually pleasing aesthetic. 3D printing, in essence, is a modern-day art form, where every curve and contour drafted in the digital realm translates into tangible reality, embodying a blend of aesthetics and functionality. This particular piece, with its precise design and meticulous execution, holds intrinsic value as it stands at the intersection of art, technology, and innovation. Let's see a practical demonstration of this PWM controlling the Triforce from my previous video. This motor utilizes a slotted opto disc to manage its three-phase timing. As the disc rotates, it alternates between blocking and allowing light to pass through to an optical sensor, generating signals that precisely control the timing of each phase, ensuring a smooth and efficient operation. The LEDs indicate which phase is firing. With the PWM controller in the mix, we can finely tune the motor's speed. The optical timing disc is adept at driving the motor on its own. However, the incorporation of PWM further chops up the signal, creating motor flyback spikes every time any of the three coils turn off. These spikes occur due to the sudden collapse of the magnetic field around the motor's coils when the current is abruptly interrupted by the PWM. The collapsing magnetic field induces a voltage, known as the flyback voltage, which can be harnessed to power a load. In this demonstration, we channel the flyback voltage to illuminate a 120V light bulb, exhibiting a practical utilization of this setup, where the generated energy is effectively repurposed. Well, all in all, I think this turned out nicely. There are many ways to drive a pulse motor, but I believe a combination of optical and PWM is the way to go. Check out K Energy's channel to see numerous examples of this method in action. And as for the remaining PCBs, let me know in the comments if anyone might like one. Then I'd have an idea of how many to make. I've been considering adding physical items to my store and possibly starting to sell complete motors and circuits. Please grant me a like if you appreciate my efforts.